Hello, I'm Fred Sagwe from Kenya. I'm a Google Workspace for Education Certified Trainer and Kenya Leader. I'm going to answer how can I establish digital citizenship in my classroom, which relates to how planning and prep and communication in Google Classroom. Digital citizenship like sharing explicit materials using inappropriate language and bullying can be mitigated through utilization of Google Workspace communication and collaboration tools like Google Meet, Chat, Docs, Slides, and Jamboard. Tools which integrate with the Google Classroom. I will share why it's important to establish digital citizenship in my classroom, including establishing class guidelines and agreements. It's essential to teach students to be good citizens and where better to start than in our own digital classroom. Create a responsible blog with Google Sites and post the URL in the Google Classroom stream section. We must give students opportunities and guidelines for how to practice positive digital citizenship. This prompts some classes to create their own guidelines by brainstorming on a Google Docs assignment or and use the Google Classroom stream section feature to post, comment and reply to the separated golden rules. The Google Docs URL link can be posted and attached to act as a resource and a reference for the students. Once finalized, the agreements could even be incorporated in the class banner. Once you have created your class contracts and agreement, you can save this as material in the class and have the students sign virtually using a Google form. Then you can refer to them when issues arise. It's largely the teacher's burden to manually find and stop such behavior in the classroom. But having shared norms to refer back to helps keep students accountable for their actions and allows them the opportunity to save regret. Before you might need to meet a student, you can also unmute a student once they revisit the expectations and are ready to rejoin the class or discussion. Since we need to allow students opportunities to practice sound digital citizenship. Now we know what to do when establishing sound digital citizenship practices in your classroom. Thank you so much for watching the session.